Lamont ain't making it. He doesn't really satisfy me. And his girlfriend is faking it. Oh, oh, Lamont, oh, Lamont. So, she had a blind date. She showed me some topless pictures of her. What? She's, uh, blessed in the chest. <laughs> and she didn't fake anything. I could feel that he was like... Way bigger. After Lamont and his blind date have some good, clean fun. Took a shower and we soaked each other up. Will they try to keep it real? Oh, oh, Lamont, oh, Lamont. Or have a change of heart? show where couples who've reached a crossroads in their relationship voluntarily go on one blind date with someone new and we're going to meet their dates a little bit later but first let's meet our couple now he's a telemarketer and she's a psychic when they met six months ago <laughs> she says uh, she could actually foresee his future and she wanted to be a part of it oh. so please welcome lamont robertson and sapphire windsor <laughs> welcome now, you guys are here because I guess things haven't gone as you predicted. Um, but let's talk about some of the good fortune, though. Safari, what is it about Lamont that uh, sort of strikes you? Well, he's comforting. I mean, like, in the sense of whenever I have, like, problems or whatever, he's always, like, building me up, making me, like, you can go out there. Very supportive? Yeah, very supportive. Yeah. And Lamont, how about when you're feeling down or whatever, how does she make you feel good? Uh, she makes me feel real good. She gives me, like, a full body massage. Oh! <laughs> She's very good in the bedroom, and uh, mm -hmm. she's got it going on. Okay, that's good. Well, uh, speaking of Safari, uh, the bedroom and the romantic department, how are things for the two of you in that uh, area? Well, he doesn't really satisfy me. It's a little... No. Excuse me? Oh, no. I mean, I have to fake it, like, all the time, Chris. Faking it? Faking it. And Lamont, are you realizing that that's what's going on, or...? Well, yeah, a little bit, you know. You just don't care? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly I what mean, I'm talking about. If he cared, then maybe it wouldn't matter I about care. size. It would be what you do I with care, it. I right. care, I'm It's a little embarrassing for the guy, I guess. <laughs> Lamont, uh, describe how Safari treats you. Well, she treats him like an ATM machine, you know what I'm saying? Whenever she needs money, it's like... She comes to me for money all oh, the time. You, he's really... Is that true? Oh, no, he don't even have any money, first of all. Are there certain things, though, Safari, that he won't buy you? He won't buy me G-strings. He won't buy you don't me G-string? The first is the Hollywood underwear thing. Chris, you don't remember that? Chris, you oh, can go to see? my drawer in my house right now. There is nothing there that Lamont bought me, OK? Uh... All right, Lamont, besides the uh, money and the sexy underwear, what else is important to her? Well, she's like ruled by her hair. She's very, very vain. You know what I'm oh. saying? No, that's she has, no, no. She has no. convertible. She won't even let the top down. Oh, wait. Because her hair will blow off. Because you mess her hair up. Is that you true, Safari? Keeps the windows up. I'm mm -mm. choking. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, that's not true. See, I'm a hairstylist, right? I'm not I gonna go out there. I'm not gonna go out there with my hair looking like poof. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. I'm not doing that. You know, people come to me. They want they you want to you want to look good. They don't want to see somebody look like Phyllis Diller. <laughs> you know, I'm playing about my convertible. You don't even have a car. Safari, you say you say that you're psychic. What about Lamont? Is he spiritual, or do you connect that way with him? Lamont is spiritually retarded. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you into I mean, that. That's you. I ain't yeah. into all that. I try to light a candle. I try to light a candle, and he be like, "That's the devil's work." I be like, "Jilla <laughs> jabber." Oh, you want to hear all that? I had to do some fortune telling. Ooh, no, the devil coming. I'm like, Damn. I got my beliefs. You got yours. That's cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I don't be want to hear that all the time. All right, Lamont. All what about the other side? She wishes you were a little more spiritual. What about things that you wish about her? Is there something that uh, you don't like? Well, I mean, you know. It's like, you know, she's a health hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? I can't even enjoy a steak. You know what I'm saying? When I heard nagging me about a steak. He don't need and, no and, steaks. And... So if he eats red meat, you're all over. Yeah, he don't need no more steaks. Uh, okay? This is my boo. You know, I'm trying to help him. It's like I lost like 50 pounds. I'm feeling great. The cigarettes. He smoked like two packs of cigarettes a day. Oh, uh, they're, okay. Fiery, you know, like... why is this a good time that the two of you went on these dates? Well, I feel that he's cheating, you know, a little something, oh. something, and I want to see what's really going on and how, you know, he going to do it. Because if he going to get with this other datey, flady, whatever, then skedaddle, be gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not sure exactly what she just said, but we'll figure it out when we come back. Uh, it seems that Safari and Lamont do have some differences to adjust. Now, when we come back, we get to meet the people that they dated, and we'll find out, will they stay together or will they have a change of heart? Stay with us. <laughs> 
Lamont and Safari, who are addressing their differences. Now, Safari says that Lamont comes up short spiritually, financially, and in the bedroom. Oh. So we found her a very spiritual guy, a personal trainer who never comes up short on a date. Please welcome Robert Green. Yeah. Robert, How you doing? Good to see you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Lamont, what do you think? You think Robert comes up short in any department? Short, short, lime green, it looks tight, good. young. No, 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 I didn't say shirt, I said short. Short. <laughs> this shirt looks good. The money green. Good. You guys think it look good? All right, Robert. <laughs> Robert, let me ask you if you had any spiritual thoughts when you first met Safari. Almost oh, definitely. She's uh, blessed in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. And how did you yeah. greet her after you sort of, you know, sort of assessed the situation? Well, actually, um, after I gave her, you know, I gave her a hug and I felt those, you know, voluptuous, warm breasts <laughs> against my chest. <laughs> and it just felt so warm and inviting, you know? Mm-hmm. She's I'm an with you. interesting lady. <laughs> okay. And um, Safari, did you have any idea what he was going to look like before you met? Actually, I did. I had a dream, like, a couple oh, days before yeah, I met Oh, yeah, a dream. Him. You are psychic. Yeah, I had a dream. A nightmare. Mm -hmm. I had a dream before I met him. And in my dream, it was just, you know, he looked just like him. It was like almost like a dream come true. Oh. And there he was. Yeah. And Robert, did you show up with anything for the date? Actually, I did. I brought her a card and I brought some flowers. Oh. Something that Knucklehead do never does. Oh. Never does. I don't think he know what gardenia is. I can do that. I brought my toothbrush as well. What? Just really? <laughs> That's so a little what? presumptuous you, what, what, you bring thought the toothbrush. Spend the night or something? Well, I was hoping to. Oh, yeah. Oh. Keep hoping. <laughs> My brother, or you'll find out. Oh, uh, yeah, we're getting a little... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you are with the flowers in the card. Uh, right. Was she ready for you when you showed up? Oh, yes, she was. But she was doing her laundry, mm -hmm. so we was, you know, we had to play some video games, and she showed me some topless pictures of her. What? Oh, yeah. You showed them again? Lamont, are you familiar with these pictures? Yeah, I've see, I seen the pictures. Yeah. I thought that was mine. Did he see all of them? No, he didn't see all of them. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so, Safari, there you are showing him pictures, and you got some laundry going on. Was he helping you out with the laundry? Uh-huh. He uh, had on a sweatshirt, and he took the sweatshirt off and had on his tank top, and it was like six packs was bumping. I got six <laughs> packs? like six packs of hot dogs back <laughs> here. <laughs> I just wanted to see how it felt, you know, all close. Uh -huh. Now, Robert, how did you feel that she's doing laundry and you come to pick her up for the date? Well, actually, I uh, helped her fold up her laundry and uh, mm -hmm. I was able to see her panties. What? Uh, <laughs> oh, I, could... I put one of them on my head just to see how it was. <laughs> <laughs> and what was that like? Oh, she's oh, nice. crazy. But, uh... It was nice. It was definitely nice. All right, so you guys are having a lot of fun doing laundry. Did you even have to leave? Did you go out? Yeah, we went out. Uh, Actually, I took her straight to Victoria's Secrets. Ow! And uh, <laughs> I bought her some lingerie. Uh -huh. Which you said didn't happen with Lamont. Yeah, yeah. never happens you, with Lamont. Your memory fails to preserve. <laughs> oh, but uh, <laughs> also, never. she was trying on different pairs uh -huh. of lingerie for me. What? Yeah. And, and different bras and yeah. shoes. Yeah. And did you have any trouble picking something out? Um, no, see, he's like lingerie king. I mean... Yeah. Robert, now, one of the things she complained about was that he's a health hypocrite. Did you... Or that she's a health hypocrite. Did you notice any sign of that? Well, actually, no. Um, both of us, we have the same thing in common. We both eat healthy. Mm -hmm. But when we went you to smoke eat... smoke, too? Ooh. No, no we definitely smoke, not. But mm -mm. Let, um, let me show you this. Oh, back to the lingerie. Sure, yeah, don't let me, me stop let you. Let me show you. Look at this. You oh, see yeah. that? Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, right there. Baby got it going on in there. Oh. Hey, yeah, Robert, was Robert more spiritual than Lamont? Yes, yes. I mean, like, after we ate, like, lobsters, crab, all the aphrodisiacs, okay? Oh. We went back to my place and everything. I was like, I want to read your fortune for you. And he was like, You can read my fortune. Please. You scared <laughs> the devil might get you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why so not? Robert's okay with that. So you read a, a fortune for him? Right. And it's like, as I'm going through the course, it's like you're going to meet somebody, you know, mysterious and everything, somebody with wisdom and everything, union and marriage and everything. And then he okay, just, so, like, looked at me. Okay, so Fiery, like, I'd say... It's you. It sounds it's like it's me. in the cards for you. you. What, is there any negatives at all, though, here? Yeah, he got a big booty. I don't like the big booty. Oh. It's kind of feminine. Yeah, I see the booty big... is kind of feminine to me. I, I guess she's doing all them no squats. Pals on the <laughs> feminine booty. Yeah, it's I too was... big. <laughs> all right, the other problem with Lamont was something was too small. How would Robert measure up there? Oh, yeah. Also, um, he gave me this massage, right, Ooh. with the hot oil and everything. And so as I he was massage. sitting on me, do on my back uh -huh. and everything, I could feel that he was like, Way bigger. <laughs> uh, Robert, while you were doing this, uh, was she wearing that lingerie that you bought her? Actually, she was wearing nothing but the bottom piece. What? She had automatically took the top piece off, which oh. let me know that she knew how to read minds. Mm -hmm. And Lamont, how are you? <laughs> you okay over there? Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. Now, you see what happens when you buy a woman sexy underwear? The privileges okay. that come with it? She don't remember. You gotta treat him good. You gotta treat him good, man. Uh, All right, Robert, when did the date I end do. and what happened? I do. After the date ended? How did it end? Yeah. Oh, basically, uh, we both uh, woke up in her warm bed. Oh, yeah, she's got a beautiful bed. You too. Damn. Yeah, Soft comforters. You know. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm assuming then, Robert, you got to use the toothbrush. Oh, yeah. I used my toothbrush that I brought. And uh, so before I can give her a kiss before I leave. Wait a minute, though. You got to tell him this part. Oh, before he used the toothbrush, like when we first woke up and stuff, he had bought ice cream like the night before. Mm -hmm. So he woke me up by smoothing ice cream mm -hmm. all on his lips. Oh, and you told him about that. <laughs> okay. You can't give him uh, too much game now. You can't give him too much now. No, you can't do that. I don't know. Uh, will Robert's body massage and body size be enough to give Safari a change of heart? We're going to find out later, but next we're going to meet the woman that Lamont dated, and we'll hear all about their date next, so stay with us. <laughs> all right, we just heard what happened on Safari's date with Robert. Now we get to hear all about the woman that Lamont dated. Now, Lamont says that Safari is a gold-digging hypocrite who's rolled by her hair. Oh. <laughs> So we matched him up with a generous gal who said she'd shave her head to please her man. Please welcome Nikki Johnson. Woo! Hi, Nikki. Welcome. You know Lamont? Now, Safari, as a hairstylist, evaluate Nikki's do. What do you think? Um, a little less grease and oh. wash it up real good and blow dry it. It'll be cute. That's then it'd right. be all right. It's natural, baby. Oh, it, oh. it could be natural, but natural ain't always better. It might need some work on it, partner. Lamont, <laughs> what did you think of Nikki when you met? Oh, man, I thought she was perfect. It was a perfect 10. You know what I'm saying? She was firmer than Safari. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Firm where? All over. Yeah. Oh, you touched all over? All over. Oh. You touched all over? Oh, oh so it's like that, huh? Uh, Lamont, any surprises when you guys first got together? Yeah, okay, she came and picked me up, right? And, um... She brought me some flowers. She brought you flowers? She brought me flowers and balloons and a bottle of Moet champagne. That's all he wants. Which was my favorite. Oh, Moet, the Moet that I was drinking with the orange juice. Thank you, Nikki. No, baby, we <laughs> finished the bottle, OK? No, so it must have been something. Uh, Nikki, what's Lamont's best feature if you had to pick one? His lips. Uh, I told him on the way to dinner that I wanted to taste them. They're very uh, yeah. luscious. He has soft lips, uh -huh. soft and Lamont? everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Lamont, where did you take Nikki oh, out to dinner? Cold. Yeah, that's cold. Um, <laughs> I didn't take her nowhere. She took me. You better get some ginseng, man. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Wait. It's all good. Wait, can we it's just stick good. to the date for a second? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she took you to dinner? Yeah, she took me to dinner. Wow, she saying? brought you the flowers and the champagne and the balloons and then she took you to dinner. She took me to dinner. Mm. She uh, picked up the check and yeah. everything. She paid for the drinks. Right. Wow. Well, look at Nikki sport it, huh? She paid for drinks. And, and Nikki, is that what you normally wow. do or why did you do that with Lamont? Well, it's something that I've always wanted to do and uh, I believe in spoiling my men. Ah. Oh. 
That's how you keep them. That's how you keep them. That's how you keep them. But I think while you're spoiling him, you need to spoil yourself and pamper yourself to a facial. That's what I think you need to do. That's all right. Pamper okay. yourself to a new clothing You know what, clothes. baby? You're a woman. I don't expect you to like me. No oh, woman I'm... likes a woman like oh, me, what? okay? Why would somebody oh, like you? Hey, hey Lamont. Oh, yeah. A woman like you? Okay, hold up, guys. I got too much class. <laughs> Lamont, I gotta ask. No, no, no. No, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Just readjust. Lamont, <laughs> question for you. Yes. You, you said Safari uh, sort of nags you about what you eat if you order red meat or whatever. Did you have a problem with Nikki? No, no, no. We had um, we ate the same meals and we like finger fed each other. Oh, that red meat. That's why it's so soft. That red meat will make you impotent. Is that what it is? <laughs> oh, we had healthy fish this time, my brother. <laughs> Finger feed you, know. you. Lamont, the other problem was Safari oh, yeah. didn't want to mess up her hair or do anything that would mess that up. Was Nikki like that? No, 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 no. <laughs> now, how is she different? Oh, uh, we um we went to the hot tub place, right? Oh. And she had her hair in a ponytail at first, and then you know she let me take it down and she got it wet and you know everything. It looked like it's still wet. Yeah, and what hot tub place was this? Right, right. Nikki. I look good wet. Nice. Okay, Lamont, what were you guys wearing while you were in the hot tub? We had on the basics. She had on like a two-piece bikini and everything, and she had. I had on the, the regular trunks or whatever, and she had a towel wrapped around her. And at the time, I wish I was that towel. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Nikki. Safari got a massage on her date. Anything for you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, actually, I pointed right here. I wanted him to sit between my legs, and I massaged his whole body, no, even his feet. And sit oh. in between her Head legs. Head to toe. Head, Head to, to toe, toe, baby. All right, so now you're out of the Don't hot tub. You're all clean. Did you get dressed and go out to dinner? Yeah, or? we took a shower and everything together. We soaked each other up. Yeah. Wait, you sho wait. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, you showered together? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was a shower in the room. and then... Some wild first dates. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you can, say, you can say. And where did you guys end up going? Uh, we left the uh, we left the hot tub place and we went to a strip club. Oh. I paid for him a table dance, you know? This all sounds really almost too good to be true, all these things. Any drawbacks at all? No, no drawbacks. She bought me a lap dance and, uh, you know, well... It's good to be adventurous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't believe you But the only drawback dance. there is is that she lives too far. That's all right. I got a car. I'll and come to see you. A little distance. Yeah, it's a distance thing. Because I don't have a car here at the time. I think. All right, Lamont, just, just sort of sum up the date for us uh, at this point. Oh, she treated me like a king. I don't treat you like a king. I don't treat you like a king. Okay, kids, uh, moving along here. Nothing to see here. Uh, will Lamont and Safari have a change of heart? We don't know, but during the break, they're going to make their decision. We'll find out, so stay with us. moment of truth because during the break Lamont and Safari each made a final decision about the future of their relationship and there's no turning back now will they stay together or have they had a change of heart Safari you said you came on the show because you weren't sure if Lamont could be trusted and you thought this was gonna be a good test for you so that's what we did here you said that you wanted to date somebody that might be more spiritual somebody that was gonna please you physically mm -hmm. and somebody that was gonna take you out and buy you some sexy underwear mm -hmm. now you went out with Robert, and all of those things, I think, happened. You guys did laundry together. Uh, you did go to the lingerie shop, and he brought you some nice things. He was giving you that hot oil massage, and you yeah. felt that physique was there to please you. His fullness was all that you wanted. Uh, it's your decision, though. What do you say? Stay together or change of heart? Come <clears throat> on. You know, you, my buddy, my friend, you know, all that, you know? And Robert... You fine, you sexy, <laughs> you know, all that, you know, Thank and you. stuff. And I really want to get back with you again, because, I mean, spiritually, we just, like, connect. <laughs> we like that, baby, right? you know? So? I had a change of heart. Change of heart. <laughs> OK. So you did say you want to get back with Robert? Yeah. And that works for you? Yeah. yeah OK, fine, very yeah. good. All right, Lamont, let's go to you this time. Now, you said you wanted somebody that wasn't going to be acting all vain and wasn't ruled by her hair. Somebody wasn't going to treat you like an ATM machine. And somebody wasn't hypocritical about health issues. Yeah. So there you are with Nikki. She, taught, uh, you know, she treated you like a king, man. She took you to dinner. Uh, she took you to the hot tub. You guys showered together. And there was some massaging. You walked to the strip club. She got your lap dances and all of that. Your decision, stay together or change of heart? Well, I agree with Robert. You know, she's blessed in the chest and everywhere else. 
know what I'm saying? She's a wonderful person. She but, is. you know, I'm gonna miss you. found out that your relationship wasn't meant to be, but things look like they worked out pretty good for both sides here, so that's nice. And that is our show for today, so good luck to Safari and Robert, and also to Nikki and Lamont. We'll see you here next time on Change of Heart.